Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. says Alex. In the big white letters it says The Ramble. And we're here until midnight tonight from the east coast of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Stephen Pearl over here, right there. Hello again, my fans, my tens of fans. Yeah, yeah. So good to see you all. He said, he, he and said Billy and Susan and Kim and Sharon and Brucey and Philip. And keep Benito going, eventually and- we'll get to everybody. Charlie and Tex and Squeaky. Everybody's here today. Squeaky? Oh, yeah. Is she watching right now? Oh, of course. Of course. She's getting ideas. Is Squeaky Fromm still alive? Shoot Pete Best. Shoot Pete Best. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she is. They freed her, in fact. They let her go not long ago. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Letting everybody go. Do you think she's reformed from all those years in prison? Oh, <laughs> she probably hears, like, different voices now. Yeah, right, right. It's like going down the FM dial, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Kill for it. Kill for it. <laughs> yeah. but before we went on, you said uh, this is like uh, old people scratching. Old uh, Jews scratching themselves right here. Old Jewish minister. Why is it when you get older you tend to scratch yourself more than when you're younger? Because you itch more because you're closer to the grave. And so you prepare for the worms that are going to be inside you. So you get itches. You remember when you were a kid, you used to say, look, when I get older, I'm never going to be like that. Yeah. What happened? Okay. What happened? <laughs> we became like that. What happened? We became our parents. So, hey, hey, yeah. I'm so glad I don't have kids. Thank you. Thank you, God, for not. I'll probably pay for it in the next world, but I don't want kids. You know You know how you know you're getting old? What? Don't touch your screen. Just don't. I have to move it. My hand's getting tired. Here we go. Uh, just, just rest it somewhere. Yeah. Rest it on my knee. Yeah, what we got to do is we you got to prop it up on books or something. You yeah. Know. Oh, oh! Somebody's calling my watch. Well, fuck them. Uh, anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. So when you get older, you you, you begin to uh, um, acquire all these habits that you said you were never going to have when you got older. Yeah. And and you can't help it. Like for instance, my favorite is you know you're old when every time you get up you go. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I've had that one for 25 years. Oh, really? You've had that for 25 years. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's me getting out of a chair. <sighs> so what I've been doing with the comedians lately that we have on the show is that I suddenly realized that as I was, uh, uh, you know, had them on, I never really asked any of them about their background. You know? What okay. brought them to the point they're at? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, you grew up. I know that my business manager knew your father, right? Knew my father. Gary Haber knew Leonard Pearl. Yeah. And Leonard Pearl did what? He had an advertising. He used to work for Singer, and then he did all the still ads for the Elvis comeback special in 68. Mm-hmm. And then he started his own advertising agency, Leonard Pearl, Inc., mm-hmm. and did okay at it. And then on 57th Street, and then he retired. In the 80s or 90s or whenever, I don't know. Now, uh, now, let me ask you this. You grew up uh, in New York City? No, I grew up on Long Island. Long Island, okay. So your father was 40 minutes away, and I was I grew up with the city right there. Yeah, but, so uh, your father used to commute every day. Commute every day, and I knew the city pretty well, so I used to go. Because those weren't the days when you could do uh, all your work from home. You had to go to an office. You had to go to an office with fluorescent lighting in it, mister. Now, I assume your childhood was pretty good then because your father was in a, uh, had, a pretty good, had a pretty good business going for him, right? Right. He provided. He was kind of a spirit crusher you know, when, he, you know, when he drank. But uh, my mother was a sick person. But he provided. I, was, I wasn't wanting for anything you know, in the, uh, in the uh, material sense. You, you know, it's funny, but I seem to always remember that every time you ever brought up your mother, you never had nice things to say oh, about her. Oh, huh? And now she's in hell sharing a very small room with Hitler. Oh, poor Hitler. Oh. No, why, did, why did you... You see, I, this is, what, this is what, why I'm asking these questions, because I never asked them before. What is it about her 
that was so bad. She was just not a nice person. She had many nerves. She had little mini nervous breakdowns, and she uh, she'd yell and scream and cry and throw me out of the house for no reason or whatever. Yeah, and uh, she just she could be nice or she could be out of her mind. So you know that's just the way it was. Yeah, but I mean, was it was it personal craziness? Something that you know was. I know she and her sister, my aunt Florrie, her sister Florence, mm -hmm. uh, who I really liked, and my uncle Leo, mm -hmm. and uh, they used to buy me presents all the time and come over. But uh, my mother and her sister, Aunt Flory, hated each other. Yeah. And someone told me in the 50s they tried to choke each other out at a party. That these, would have been fun to see. These were sisters. But, uh, these were sisters. Yeah, and they, they had some kind of big argument at, in 1974, my sister's first wedding, and they never spoke, and I never saw them again after that. I was kind of You know something? About I've that. heard about this choking thing before. Yeah. I had a girlfriend who had a sister, and she and her uh -huh. sister never talked. And she said one of the reasons she never talked to her is she once tried to choke her. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That would kind of stop you from talking to somebody. Yeah, so, I mean, sisters have a tendency. <laughs> My brother Herbie coming yeah. out. Now, did you have any brothers or sisters? I, was, I had a sister. What, what do you say you had a sister? I had, because she's dead. Oh, really? When, when did she die? She died, I think, late May of 2015. Really? And what did she die of? The suicide. What? Nobody. I, you know this. No, I don't. It, look. She, she look. stole a bunch of money from the estate. My lawyers caught her. She was in big, big trouble. Then she killed herself. And right shortly after I wrote her a very well-worded email with five good reasons why she needed to kill herself. She, she was no, going away. No, 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 you yep. didn't. <laughs> yes, I did. And then she went yes, and killed her. Then she went and killed My herself. He talked to me is dead now. So I, uh, no, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, back up here. This is your sister. Uh, yeah. No, I time. never. I I was an only child, so I never had a brother or sister. You're lucky, man, you're fucking lucky. Well, uh, I'm lucky. Yeah, I think so. Uh, mm -hmm. Except that when my mother was in bad shape, I was the only one who could take care of her. Okay, uh. but. Uh, uh, here is your sister. Yeah. And you're writing her letters telling her reasons she should commit suicide. Yeah. And then she commits suicide. Yeah. Do you consider your winner. do you consider the your, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Do you consider yourself responsible? I hope so. I hope I had something <laughs> oh, to do with it. Oh Jesus. She sold for me. You steal, you die, motherfucker. That's all. Listen, there are a lot of people I dislike in this world, but I would hate to think that if they committed suicide, they did it because of something I said to them. Okay? Oh, really? Yeah, well, it would bother me. It, it, it would bother me. If they fucked me over and then I got them back and I, you know, was, and I said, okay, this is why you need to kill yourself, blah, blah, blah. But Number fucking, one, two, three, four, fucking five. you over isn't enough to wish them dead. Yeah, it is. Oh, Okay. Yeah, you know, I'm not, not going to go with that one. You know, just me. Right? Mafia movies. What's the matter with you? I got those I got about those. I would never. She was a horrible. She was a cunt and a half. She had no friends. She was a horrible, fucking mor morbidly obese, mean spirited. And she was sicker than my mother was. The women in my family are very mentally ill. And and but you loved your father. No. Oh, okay. So really, he himself too. okay. Now we're coming to see. I'm bypassing years of therapy here yeah. for you, okay? Because now we now this explains every reason why you went into comedy. Sure. It, 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 how how do you think that translated itself into comedy? I don't know. I never really my act wasn't really talking about my family on stage or anything like that, but. Uh... You know, I was always I was always into humor and I was always into music. But well, what is it you didn't like about your father? Obviously, he, obviously, no, he, was, he was all right. He was, he was funny. He was he was a very talented artist. You know. Yeah, I mean, you had a pretty middle class upbringing, it's right? Just very middle, right in the middle. You know. Yeah. I had fun. I go to the city and see concerts when I got older and the film more recent. All I think the you know, middle class, regular Long Island childhood. Yeah, except for a I mother you hated, a sister you bit. couldn't I wasn't stand. This, I wasn't that. I was, you know, they verbally they get a little weird, but uh, you know, yeah, but, you know, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been better. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah, the the sending your sister letters, giving her five reasons why. I only <laughs> sent her one. Come on, that was a good one. Was it good? But did she kill herself right after that, or was it? Yeah, I didn't find out for a year later. 
to London, then she killed herself, which is really weird. I got a letter from one of her friends who had lost contact with her saying, I'm very sorry to hear about your sister's passing. Well, I'm like, what? <laughs> well, today, well, the first thing I did was find out where she was going to be buried. The second thing I did was getting my dancing shoes resold. Uh-uh. So, uh, no, I just, you know, I go, wow, she's dead. How about that? I found out she did it shortly after I sent her that email. So yeah. she was on the way out. She was she was looking at jail time. Wow. Yeah, she was wow. looking at serious. My, my lawyer fucked her over. And the best part is my lawyer used to be one of her lawyers in one of her divorce cases, but she never paid the guy. So he said, oh, I'll do this one on contingency. <laughs> so her karma caught up with her big time. Wow. It was her brother that did it. <laughs> so you were fighting over money. Yeah. How much money? Enough. Enough? What do you mean enough? I could have bought a small house. Okay. All right. That that, that it kind of puts it in a certain area. Yeah. Yeah. Did you sp- have you spent all of it? I got some of it, but that went quick. That one like that went in a few years. How how did it go? It went on bills and <laughs> rent, you know, not working. Really? Really? Yeah. You had that you got uh, I would say you got over 100,000, right? I'm not going to say what I got, but I got something. Yeah, but you, I'd say over 100,000. As you said you could buy a house. Well, I say the house could have been made of chocolate. You don't know. Well, you know. it could be. It could be. It could have also been a house in the poor part of town. There you go. It could yeah. have been on the corner of Crack and Bedlam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> boy, oh boy. What a tumult. Hey, crazy? Yeah, I got away from my family as soon as I could. Now, do you think your dislike of your family translated into a dislike of your family towards you? A dislike towards me? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, were you and your sister ever close? No, she was six years older than me. Yeah, but... Th- so she had, her, she had her friends when I was a little kid growing up. She was hanging out with the teenage well, crowd. Usually, usually if you have a sister mm-hmm. or somebody who's older than you, usually that one kind of somehow becomes the big sister or the big brother. Yeah. I would imagine. But she didn't feel that way towards you. No. She never protected we were enemies you. enemies or anything. She was just there and I was there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So why do you think she tried to screw you when your parents died? Over the month? After a second divorce, she snapped. Something happened to her. She gained like about 200 pounds and she just, she had no friends and she was really mean spirited and she always needed money. She was always adding to this house that she didn't own. It was like that crazy lady you heard about who built all those rooms to the house and until she died. This is what she did with a lot of the money. She added it to this house she didn't even own. So, see, I need another room. I need another room. She was a sick person, very sick person. Yeah. Alice yeah. Edelman was her name. She was a very sick person. May she burn in hell. <laughs> yeah, but you know something? I mean, what I, I don't know. I never had a brother or sister, but I would feel that I would try to be close to that brother or sister because, especially after the parents go. That depends uh, what the circumstances are. You, you know, are, who yeah. have you got? Each other. You know? I got friends. I got a million friends. I don't need her. Yeah, well, apparently not, you know. Apparently you, not, so there you go. You you wished her dead, and she committed suicide to accommodate you. Wasn't Thank that, you very much. That was maybe the nicest thing she ever did for you. Probably, yeah, well, that, was a, that was a wonderful thing. That, I wish that, she did my birthday. Now, when she committed suicide, it, well, it, you won the case, right? Yeah. You won the case, so it wasn't well, a question. Money left by then, but I won, so, you yeah. know. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That, I, I, boy, am I glad I asked you about this stuff. Colorful. I told you this. Well, I you probably did, but I, I most oh, of the time most of the time a few years ago I was so consumed with myself I just never listened to the answer. Me, 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 me. <laughs> yeah. like an officer. Me, 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 yeah. me, me. I, 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 I've often said to people, listen, I'm so consumed with myself. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> you yeah. know, I mean, uh, yeah. that's wow. enough about me. What do you think of me? What do I think of you? <laughs> That's enough talking about me. What do you think of me? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood. Well, I, you know, I've always liked you, Stephen. I've yeah. always been a stand-up sport, and dogs like the way I taste. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's a, that's a, quite a uh, quite a little story there. Yeah. Family schmamily. You know. Family schmamily. You don't really yeah. care. And, no, I don't. and now uh, the big question that I've been asking everybody. Because I've noticed that I woke up one morning and I suddenly realized that all the comedians I talk to, none of them have children. 
Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, thank why, God. Why? Why is that? It, it seems Kravitz doesn't have children. You don't have children. Durst doesn't have children. I can give children. you my I reason don't... because I know my sperm would produce either a Mozart or a Hitler, and for me, it's a no-win situation because I don't like classical music. So. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! Find a better answer than that. Yeah. Ah. Boy, I'm telling you, that's really ah. weird. yeah. Well, I I just wonder because I I I wonder why comedians. It seems many of them don't have children. Oh, I've never wanted. When I was a little kid, I knew I wouldn't want kids. I just wanted to be a kid. If you had had kids, do you think it would have come between you and your career? Oh, sure. Yeah, without a doubt. I would have had to get some job as a welder or a dropper trailer or something. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. here stylist. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't. Uh, no, oh, no kids, no kids. Animals. I got my animals. These are my babies. Well, listen, we've run out of time. Oh, oh we're out of time. Oh, okay, well, let's take a quick look at your cats. Just quickly There's show us one. your cat. Where's the other? And here's the third. I might even say hello, buddy. Yeah. So, so you have three of them, right? Three of them. Three of them. You had four. No, we never had oh, four. Oh, you, oh, yeah, you won, won, You had a bad eye or something. Lost an eye, but we didn't lose a cat. Which one lost the the eye? Nisi, he's right here. Yeah, shouldn't it have been Muddy? <laughs> no, Muddy's Muddy, tough, Muddy's yeah. tough. Yeah, well, he's a one-eyed cat, and he's peeping in the seafood he's store. In the seafood store, yeah, yeah, that's Nisi. That's a rock and roll cat if I ever heard of one. Hey, listen, Stephen Pearl, Muddy. thank you for being with us once again. Thank you, Alex. Thanks for having me. We'll do it again. <clears throat> There's no audio. Oh, that's weird. Okay, well, anyway, uh, let me see here. Let me come here. Let me see here. Oh, that's why. I see. Okay, so then if we went like this, then you go. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Getting too old to be doing this, you know. I really am. I I think it's starting to it's starting to it's starting to it's, it's it's getting slow. Anyway, I I don't know. I mean, I just it's all these things that we got. I got to push this, and I got to push that, and I got to push this, got to push that. And again today, my uh, my machine went berserk on me uh, when I so I had to reboot it and reset everything up, and yeah, it's just. It's one thing after another, um, but I just keep doing it because what else am I going to do with my miserable life? You know, I had a horrible night last night. Uh, I It was one nightmare after another. I mean, it was really amazing, and I, I, I can't even begin to tell you what the dreams were that were so vexing to me, but they had a lot to do with... Um, um, What's the what am I looking for? It it first of all, uh, one of them was uh, you know I can't even remember what they were, but they were all upsetting. They were really upsetting. They were about death, and about me trying to get somewhere. My mother was trying to help, me. and it, just all kinds of things that just constantly were hitting me hard. And then in the middle of it, I wake up and I go, you know, we're at this time of our lives where either I'm going to die and leave Marjorie behind or she's going to die and leave me behind. And that kept me awake. And then I went back to sleep and then I had another nightmare about something. And I always have these, I, always, I don't know if you've ever had these dreams, and I don't know how common this is, I have them all the time, where I'm trying to get somewhere and I'm trying to get out of somewhere, like I'm trying to leave a building, or I'm trying to get to some other place in town, and I always wind up not being able to get there, that there's always something that's blocking me, that I'm, I, I try to go through this door, and it leads to nothing, and blah, 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 and it really, um, do you have those kind of dreams, where it's just, you, you, no matter what you do, you can't seem to get somewhere you're going, um, and many times I keep having the same dream over and over again, and it, it seems that what one that I have, this is strange, I'm back at Sirius XM, not working there, just visiting, okay? And I go out one door, and I want to come back 
But when I come back, I can't find the door to get me back in to Sirius XM. Okay? I don't know what that, what that means. But that's one of the kind of dreams I have. So, I mean, I'm having... Last night, I just had horrible dreams. And I woke up exhausted. And was just pretty much off it all day. Pretty much all day. So, I have to take one of my nicer pills. My nice pills. That'll make me feel a bit better, you know. But anyway, so here I am doing another one of these shows. Um, I, 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 one thing I'm thinking of is not posting the show anymore on, on Facebook because I go, what's the reason? Um, it seems as a before when, I, when we had these things called watch parties, I could put up a watch party and people would get a message that, hey, there's a new show. Why don't you go listen to it? They stopped doing that. And so now I get like a handful of people watching the show on on uh, uh, on Facebook. Uh, so I'm thinking of just not posting it on Facebook anymore. Uh, it, you know, if you want to watch it, go to YouTube. That's the place to watch it. That's what or or to um, uh, gabnet.com dot net rather gabnet dot net because over on the on demand side, there's a copy of it both an audio and only and video. And there's also up in the corner, you can click on that, and there's the picture. I'll po always post it there, okay? Uh, but I'm going to stop I'm gonna stop posting on, on Facebook. And the only thing that's going to get posted on Facebook, then, is going to be the Monday pop-up show. Uh, because that we do directly and live onto Facebook. Uh, and uh, we're going to put it on there. And, of course, it also... I also make a copy and put it on uh, on YouTube. But it's just, you know, it's uh, it, 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 why should I do it? It's too much trouble for what it's what it's getting me. Uh but we'll uh, we'll see. I don't know. I but I don't I don't plan on doing too much with uh with uh, Facebook any longer. Uh but I will post uh, the uh, pop-up show will be done there and a few announcements here and there about the shows and so on will be there as well. Anyway, I think it's time for me to uh, bring in my, uh, my citizen panel, and uh, let's see if we can get them to start uh, coming in here. Uh, yeah, there's Brian Neary, and there's Alan, and there's Steve, and there's Chris. Uh, wait a minute. There's Steve. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. And we're, uh, we're at least got a little bit of a group going here to start off with. How are you all today? Good. Good? Good. 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 Um, you know how you, uh, what tell us about the the death count there uh Charlie Oh it dropped down again it was uh what 768 I think yeah. it was Yeah 786 Yeah we're we're improving here in uh in uh, New York uh things are getting slightly better We only had 43 people die today and uh uh, all the various factors are down, so it's it's good. You know, it's good. We're we're better than we were, but we could. And we had seventy deaths in Texas. Really? Let me let me ask you something. Hello, yeah. Kevin. Hello, Trucker Steve. Uh, hello. Oh, wait, here comes Jeff Stein as well. Uh, hello, Brian. Uh, hello, Scott. Uh, let me ask you something. They're they're starting to say something, which is. Uh, I, I don't know that it worries me particularly, uh, but I want to see what you think about it. The um, They're saying now that because of the shots, okay, the vaccines, vaccinations, that going outdoors, you might not need to wear a mask anymore. <laughs> you know? That it, that it maybe that's overkill at this point. That the chances of you getting COVID if you've been vaccinated uh, without wearing a mask is very, very rare, very slim. Who's they? Who's they? Who's uh, saying that? Uh, this is a, this is a lot of doctors and a lot of medical organizations and and so on and people who are saying that the risk to an, a person who's been vaccinated not wearing a mask outdoors not indoors but outdoors is is very slight very slight so anybody have any thoughts on that wear a mask 
I don't want to outdoors anyway. They're, get, they're gonna say it someday. I don't know if today's the day or tomorrow or next month or next year, but someday they're gonna tell us it's safe. So when they when they reach herd immunity, when there's a lot less virus floating around, you're a lot. Well, what's what's but, your herd immunity or he, herd mentality, as Trump says? Yeah. Uh, herd immunity. <laughs> how? Where is herd immunity? Is it a is it a city, a neighborhood, a county, a state? A country? Mm. Yeah, suppose you get herd immunity in uh, in California. I don't know where it is. You know, yeah. I mean, the, the 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 point made being made here is not so much herd immunity, but the fact that uh, the, the chances of being able to get it outdoors, especially during this time of the year, is uh, is minimized by a great deal. And that if you've been vaccinated. There's no maybe no reason for you to wear a mask. I'm just I'm not suggesting. Well, we only that. had 25 percent of the people have been fully vaccinated. That's one quarter. Well, there's more than that if you say people who have had at least one shot because they do have a certain amount of protection. You know, you know. Well, I, outdoors, outdoors has always been the least, yeah. the least. Uh, you know, your least risk. Risk. Uh, yeah. What do I want to say? You're you're diluted so much more outdoors. Yeah. yeah. Your aerosol gets diluted so much more outdoors. I don't even bother wearing a mask outside. Okay. So as, as you, I get outside the store, off that thing. Okay. Comes. So you don't you don't you agree with them in that outdoors? Sure. It doesn't matter. Sure. The 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 theory of dilution is okay. Obvious. Would you have taken that chance of not wearing a mask outdoors if you hadn't had the vaccine? I did it before, yeah. Oh, you did it before. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, as long as I wasn't standing in a group of people talking. Yeah. If I was standing in a group, yeah. If I was around people, yeah. But if I was just walking around in the open air, what difference does it make? I I would say that if I were walking down the street now, the most in most cases, I would not be afraid of getting it, okay, outdoors. But still, there is a question of indoors, and there's also the question of a lot of people say, well, you know, the reason why you want to still wear a mask is because you might infect a child, for instance, Mm -hmm. or somebody else. Indoors is perfectly logical. I mean, if you look at it like a poisonous gas, that's the way I always look at things because I worked with gases. It's like a gas in a way. Well, the other night... It it floats around the air. Yeah. And then it dilutes itself, and it dilutes itself, and it dilutes itself. And eventually, even a poisonous gas, you can stand in the cloud and not get poisoned. Yeah. Well, the other night, you and I were talking with Patrick off the air, okay? And he, Patrick was saying that he once he gets the, uh, the vaccination, he's not going to wear a mask, except indoors in places like restaurants and so on where they require you to wear them. But, like, we went into a restaurant last night. Uh, and they had partitions between us, mm-hmm. okay, and they were at fifty percent capacity, and we weren't wearing masks. I didn't feel that it was dangerous, you know. I felt safe. So I think that if we indoors even take those precautions, we're much safer. You know? If there's good ventilation. If there's good ventilation, uh, you can. Were you with Were you with people that were vaccinated? Is that why you felt comfortable? Uh, I, no, know I, I felt comfortable because uh, we had literally these plexiglass shields between us and the table next to us. Okay, but and the waiters this... when they came up to us were wearing masks, and they they told us uh, just click here on this barcode and on your phone you can read our menu, so we don't have to give you a menu right. which might you know might have some germs on it. So I felt pretty safe, you know. Uh, it's less so in a confined space. Yeah. You know, in, a, in an indoor area, mm-hmm. even with a guard, you know, like a shield or whatever. Right. Because it can go around. Right. But if yeah. the air is circulating good, yep. That's, yep. that's all right. Yeah. What does Dr. Vouchy have, have to say about these today or recently? Dr. Vouchy, did you say? Yeah, I said that wrong. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Vouchy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Come on. You know, it, uh, it now, like for instance, uh, here, here's here's uh, Kathleen. 
Uh, and uh, she lives upstate in California, and I don't think you need to wear a mask at all up there, do you? I mean, you're, there's nobody within 200 feet of you. Is she there? Hold Can, on. You know, you could... Hold on a second. Oh, all right. Moment. All right. Don't get don't get snippy with me, lady. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like her color. She's bright red. Y yeah. 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 Stupid light. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, but so I, we're still we are still wearing masks. Really? Even though there's like ten of us in town. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I mean, when you're when you're just, you know, where you live, you just go out for a walk in the woods. You don't wear a mask, do oh, you? Oh, no, no, no. You know, when you're, I mean, we live on four acres, so. Yeah, exactly. I mean, even walking around the neighborhood, my son and I yeah. don't, you know, we don't wear a mask. Now, have you been vaccinated yet? Not yet. Yeah, why not? Uh, because they're doing all the elderlies first. Oh, uh, oh, they're still at that point. This is in upstate California. Uh, well, all, adults, oh, all adults in California. All adults in California now. Yeah. yeah. It's Well, if you think about it, I'm probably one of the youngest people in town. <laughs> oh, Out of God. 10 people. <laughs> oh, God. Well, it's a, you know, so you've got to wait for all the other nine? <laughs> no, I'm, the, you, I'm the new young chick in town. <laughs> <laughs> You're the new hot young babe, huh? Yeah. Oh man! No, you know what? Two more weeks, and I get mine. Yeah, uh, you know, go get it. Uh, and oh, I think I'm absolutely. I think also your son probably. What 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 is what's the age now? And Alan, what's the age in California now? Sixteen for Pfizer, eighteen for Moderna. Why why why? Oh, because, because it, that's what the studies. I, I think said. they tested it out on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the yeah. Those groups. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he's 15. Yeah, well, don't worry. They, but, but within the next couple of weeks, he'll probably even be able to get them, too. Yeah. Right. So, you know, it's, Happy birthday, Charlene. Oh, thank you, Charlene. <laughs> well, is, it, is, it, is today your birthday, Charlene? It's my birthday, yes. Hey. Happy birthday. Wow. Yeah. Happy birthday. Like, no, but but we, we've just been talking, uh, in case you guys just joined us, uh, we've just been talking about, you know, the question of, People are starting to question whether we should have to wear masks at this point, you know. Uh, and uh, what do you think, Josh? We were talking about this the other night privately. I mean, I don't have a problem with the fact that people still have to wear them in most places, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, you know, a fan of it or anything. Yeah. But, I, mean, I also haven't, like, lost my mind and want to uh, elect some crazy person who wants to burn masks and all that. But, yeah. I mean, I think we're getting to the point where they need to start, you know, going away. I mean, I don't think that, you know, obviously people need to be wearing them outside as much anymore, unless they got to be, like, right there talking to each other, or, yeah, you know, or whatever. But, I mean, if you just go out for a walk or whatever, I don't really see what good it's going to do you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, so the, driving the, down the road in your convertible. Or, how about you, you uh, Jeff? You had your hand up a while. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of concerned about this. Uh, where I live, there's all senior people. Okay. And they already think that they've been injected. Now, now some of them have. And some of them have it. What do you mean? They, but, the brains are so far gone, they think they got no, the shot? They just don't. I don't know if they don't care or what. But nobody wears a mask. They just walk around. Now, I see certain people, when they're walking, they always stay to the other side. Yeah. Okay? That's a, that's a, a suggestion of I'm, I'm going to keep... Keep it safe, okay? Mm -hmm. But if you're just walking around, and particularly like I go to get the mail, I put a mask on because I don't want them coming over to see me. Okay. I don't know who they are. Well, but when you say you're going out to get the mail, well, yeah. I mean, it, 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 the question they have is the use of a mask uh, uh, if you've been vaccinated and you're outdoors. 
Indoors, I don't think there's any question, but that if you're in some kind of a setting, like a, uh, a movie theater or a concert or something like that, you should be required to wear a mask. If everybody's vaccinated indoors, then what? They're not. I know, they're not. That's the problem. It's, the, yeah. it's not, you know, everybody tells what? you the quantity of people who've already been injected. A million of this, a million of that. And from 16 up, all this stuff. But the, how's the numbers of the people who won't get it changed? That's right. Well, they, you know, you also have vaccine hesitancy out there, people who are not willing to get the vaccine and, and are really, number one, they're stupid not to get it. Secondly, uh, you get it because you want to you wanna do your duty to kind of get things clean and right. And, um, you know, the faster we do this, the faster we can get back to normal. But, all, you know, the fact that it became a political issue just drives me insane. Yeah. I mean, what, what's, what's, the, what's the problem here? You know? I don't <coughs> understand it. I don't understand it. But anyway, I was just wondering what you thought about that because there's this new, just this new idea that, that uh, outdoors, uh, you, you, you really don't have to wear a mask. Yeah, the, I'm just looking. The CDC is not recommending that yet. No, they're, they're waiting until they're till we're closer to herd immunity. Well, the CDC is quite conservative about such things, and that's good. But there are a lot of medical groups that have been yeah, so saying look, that you know maybe maybe you know it's it's not a problem. But you know? Let's let's go back to being you're vaccinated, mm -hmm. and you hope that you can't get it. Okay, you hope that the vaccine worked, right? Not yeah. vaccines don't work on everybody. Yeah. So they're taking a statistical analysis and saying that if you're vaccinated, you're safe. Mm -hmm. But you don't you don't really know if the vaccine worked. And and it may not work to all the mutations. There may be a new mutation. A lot of there are a lot of variables out there. So I think that unless you are around people on a regular basis people in your house yeah but the, you know the question really is alan you got to be reasonable how much longer can we go on with this before people have so badly ha, are so badly uh, uh have uh, uh, I've, yeah, you know I, 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 covid fatigue that they can't stand it anymore you yeah, know I, I i don't know the answer to that i do know that the latest mutation is not affecting older people even if they're not vaccinated it's now affecting younger people. So if we had started taking off our masks out and out <laughs> about early on in this uh, one that came over from England or one, the, the pro predominant one, the B117 out there that's affecting younger people, a lot more younger people would be getting sick, I think. Uh, Brian. We're, we're going to find out after this weekend. There's a big rave in, uh, at, in Charlie's. Charlie's area in Texas, they're going to have know. a yeah. festival. All these 16 to 18 year olds are going to be there. So I guess we'll find out in a couple of weeks. What, what's the, right. what, what's the festival? Go. What's the festival, Charlie? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's house music. So it's all EDM electronic music stuff. So it's a it's a yeah. big thingy. So it's like the first one in the U.S. that they're opening up and it's in Texas. Yeah, it's all over the radio and everything. Is yeah. it indoors or outdoors? It's outdoors in the sun, but still, we'll see. I mean, they're, they're, they're going to be right next to each other. It's not like they're, you know. It's crowded. To test. Yeah. yeah. Anything yeah. come about with the Rangers? The Opening day, how many thousands of people were there? People weren't wearing masks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's been they a couple of well. weeks, and we haven't heard a whole lot yeah. about that. This is where in Texas, right? Yeah. 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 The old yeah. Uh, baseball game. Well, where else would you have a team but they're called the Rangers, but in Texas? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I haven't checked the stats for Dallas. That's probably where the, the spike would be. Well, I mean, the real question here is at, at what point do we loosen up a little bit so people don't feel so down about all of this you know i mean god knows we've made it they've made it a political issue i mean they found that the greatest amount of people that don't want to get the covid uh, uh vaccine uh are uh republicans yeah 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 Which, evangelical christians yeah and so far as so i'm concerned fine by me 
Yep. Yeah. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye yeah. guys. You know, you want to worry about uh, you know not being able to win elections? Well, if you don't have any people who are alive to vote, that would solve the problem. <laughs> My sixteen-year-old daughter got hers yesterday, and she couldn't have got been happier. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I talked to a friend of mine yesterday. This is, uh, uh, and I'm going to be talking with my recorded an interview with him, which I'll play next week. But it's my friend Walter Sabo, and his daughter went off to, to college, and the college made them stay in their rooms, basically, quarantined them in their rooms, uh, and uh, tested them, and so on and so forth. And she still came down with COVID. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. And and uh, but all she got was a, a sinus infection. That was about it. But she had COVID. They tested her. Uh, so you know, I mean, even if you take all the precautions, you can still get it. You know, it's it's, it's just yep. I, not a hundred percent. I think for as much as they want to yep. act like they know what this is all about, they haven't got the foggiest. You know, I'll buy that. You know, every. Kid in uh, my granddaughter's college mm -hmm. does the testing every other day. Really? Oh my God. Wow. And you know, they're very up. happy that they only had 40 kids who got it. It, it, when I was When I was a kid, when you went to college, that wasn't the thing you put up your nose. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? It was something else. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's amazing. It's just amazing. What times we live in. I have a question. Yeah. You, you know, they've talked about people that have gotten the, um, that have received the, the vaccination, but have still, um, caught the COVID. Mm -hmm. Have they found that it has really reduced, um, the symptoms? They say yeah. that, yeah, okay. It's, it's, okay. It's good. In milder cases. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, nobody, nobody who has gotten a vaccination has gotten seriously ill, been hospitalized, right. or died from it. Yeah. Okay. Yes, uh, Charlene. I had something in that vein that I wanted to say before too. Um, I ran into a guy I know from the bank that closed, and they, and he was in the shop right with me today, and I asked him if he got a shot, and he said he had COVID. So he doesn't know. And I heard about another girl in my beauty shop or something. She had COVID and she got the shot and then she got sick. So what, like, do you need to get the shot if you had COVID? Like, you know, like, don't you have the antibodies or do they test them? That's what I wanted to know. You know, to no, see if they have the antibodies, you don't need the shot then, right? No, you need to get it. You, you do need get to it. get the shot. Well, he said he was on the fence, that guy, yeah. about yeah, what he should do. Nat the natural immunity, the natural antibodies don't last very long is what they found. So I, they I've heard two it. months, and that's about it. Yeah, there you go. Three days. Yeah. So but this may only last six months. Yeah. We don't know. You know. Yep. God, there's so much they don't know, right? Well, uh, very new. Uh, it's a little over a year well, old. They, there's two reasons to get the shot. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and one is that uh, that uh, people that have had the COVID virus have uh, been more susceptible to other diseases. Oh, boy. And, but if they get the vaccine, then you're not as susceptible to other diseases besides COVID. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've also got a lot of COVID in India. India is just... Oh, my gosh. Uh, three, really? Yeah, 315,000 cases a day. Mm -hmm. Wow! Now we'll never, yeah. never get our technical problems resolved. Oh. What'd you say? So now we'll never now get any, any of our technical problems resolved. Right? Oh, uh -oh. Our printer will never fucking work, work again. Right. Who's gonna tell us to fucking unplug it? Well, it's a call center, right? Yeah. Can you plug it and unplug it again? Yeah, you call you call tech support, and there's a guy there's a guy coughing on the other end of the line. Yeah, but they can work from home. They can do that from home, so that'd be good. Um, but it's, uh, you know, I mean, it, I'm just looking at it here on Drudge. India COVID max, 315,000 cases a day. There's a fight for oxygen. They don't have enough oxygen. In India? They had that in Los Angeles during the height of it, too. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did in Texas, too. Yep. 
Yeah, we're opening up that plant right now. So we're starting to do validation on our first line over there. And we had a meeting yesterday, and that's what they were talking about, that they're starting to missing missing people, brand new people they just trained because of COVID. Wow. And they've got COVID? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's amazing. Just amazing. It's still going around. Do you want to risk Hey, listen. It? You, look, man. you don't want to risk it, but let's face it. Let's, let's think about this for a second. It's been over a year. Okay. Yeah, and it, may, it may end up being five years. So, well, well, no, yeah, yeah but yeah. how long are we going to continue to wear the masks, do the social distancing, do uh -huh. all of that? I mean, how much, how much of I that can we take knows. before we lose our minds? You know, we've got to come to some kind of reasonable center place, okay? And I don't think we're going to do that as long as people are being political about this. Because they're going, oh. no, no way I'm getting the shot. Well, you know, then you're not patriotic. You don't care about America. You know, getting a shot is a patriotic act. It's too bad we can't force people to get a shot in this country. Well, you can't force them. You can't. How? How? The kids have to get, I well, just got the letter, the TB test that Adrian, they said, didn't have. And I went and found out that she had it. She can't go to school. If and So they just had in learning school yesterday, first day. They wouldn't take her in school. She didn't have that. Yeah, but here's something. Yeah, but they don't make you vaccinate your kids. They just make you vaccinate your kids if you want them to be in school. Exactly. Yeah, but here's something about that. And I, I said this last night. Here's how we handle the situation. We say to people, you get your vaccinations, you can go to the baseball game, you can go to the concert, you can go to the restaurant and have dinner, you can go to the movie theater, you just got to show your little card or a or a thing on your uh, on your iPhone like I have that says that you've gotten the shot, and then come right in. But if you don't have it, I'm sorry, you can't come in. You can't wow. attend any of these functions. And that's the way to handle it. Hey, you want to be part of? You want you want to you want to play uh, with the rest of the kids? Oh, that's a conspiracy against my liberty and my rights. That's no, bullcrap. it's it's absolutely it's absolutely not. It's a conspiracy. It's it's. It's a conspiracy against my rights for you to think that you don't have to watch no, out no, for no, me. No, 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 no. I have a right to go to the baseball game whether I have a shot or not. Well, it, let's. Uh, if you think about it, here, here, here are the. Oh, uh, you liberals trying right. to make Well, here are the other are optics on that. If you're a baseball team and you're a owner of a team and you're the owner of the stadium. Can't you say and have rules about who comes in and who doesn't come in? And you're not violating any. Uh, yeah, well, I'm a conservative owner, and I say everybody can go. Yeah, but you, how many conservative owners are out there that would I'm do just this? To, I, know, well, I, know I know. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Kevin, keep going. And you better watch yourself, mister. Kevin. <laughs> cards, get your hot fake vaccination cards. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Online. Them out back. Well, that's why I like what they did here in New York with this uh, with this thing that I've got on my uh, iPhone, mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, it's the uh, where is it? It's the New York State wallet, and this is uh, it's a thing. And and if I oh, wow. if I press on it, there's a barcode. Okay. Wow, that's so cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and and what you could do I can is get you one of those for forty bucks. No, you can't get one of these because this has to this this has to go to the state files and approve it to go onto your iPhone. Here, pull that up again and we'll give you a screenshot of it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put that on your phone. Forty bucks and I'll get you all one. Yeah, but it's got my all name right. on it, my Can birth date, and all of that. You know, so if you're We're a all Alex Bennett. Hi, I'm okay. Alex Bennett. <laughs> yeah, I'm Alex Bennett. <laughs> prove it it's prove it that I'm not. But, Listen, but I know a lot of people. I know I know a majority of the people would rather not get into the restaurant than have to admit they're Alex Bennett. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, they can say, look, the section, section C at the baseball game, everybody there is named Alex Bennett. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Would I, Alex Bennett, please stand up and 30,000 people. <laughs> That's even better. Here, here we are assuming, with our... Yeah. We're assuming people have phones, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, Do the, the Alex, Alex Bennett, Bennett wave. Bennett. <laughs> you know, not everyone... Alex has, Bennett, I, please stand up. Yeah. Not everybody's going to have a phone that has the ability to display a picture like that, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, so. I know. What happened to... Um, what happened to Robert? He was here for only a couple of minutes. 
He saw me yeah. come on and he left. No, yeah, man. He's tired of Alan's shit. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> like, we all leave. We're all doing this. I'm wondering what happened to him. Let me let me write him a note here and see here. You know, I mean, I uh, you know I, really, I like I really like Robert. And uh, here we go. He's what? writing you a, a message right now about how he hates Ro uh, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> After Gee, he sends it, uh, back on. I just put what happened. What happened to you? And I just typed happened wrong, so I do the. I think correction. he ended up in the square next to him. He didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man um uh, you know i was talking room why he would have been the 13th person he would have been the 13th person yeah we, we uh, uh, kind of sad though I, I, I you know i like robert and i just wonder what happened to him but sometimes people also have trouble with their computers and there might have been some emergency at yeah. home or whatever or he hated alan um so. <laughs> I got another letter from that guy, by the way. Oh, who's this guy? It's this... probably Alan. See, now, if every night we go to Doctor Doom, and then we go to the the uh, Alan uh, fan club. That's right. <laughs> well, this is this John Cummings, and he goes on and on and on. He says, yeah. uh, uh, he says, I I didn't mean you should ask every panelist uh, to chime in every five minutes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. when someone like Alan, who's currently the only example of this, monopolizes the panel, blah, 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 which, you know, Alan doesn't. I'm sorry, you know. I mean, I... I this guy's the new director. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. He's and the then, new so then I answered him back. I said, we're not going to get rid of somebody because you don't like them. The door is open to anyone who calls, and if you don't like what's being said, then call instead of just getting on someone else's case. Why, that was pretty diplomatic. Normally, you would have said, if you don't want to call, fuck off. Well, <laughs> yeah, but considering I only have 10 listeners, uh, oh, you know, I, I don't want to lose think. one of them. No. Uh, anyway, uh, and then he wrote me back. He said, you have innocently or purposely misread or ignored what I wrote. I don't think so. Oh, good grief. I didn't say a word about getting rid of Alan. Uh Oh, only, sure my fir only in my first email did I. <laughs> uh, and then he goes on and he says, you know, what you should do is you should keep people in line and blah, 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 blah. And I'm, I, I was going to write him back and say, listen, motherfucker, I've been doing this for, what, 50 years, yeah. 60 years? Yeah. Uh, I, I think I know how to run a show like this and how to keep people in line, you know. How dare you? I mean, are you that? Uh, what broadcasting organization are you send part them, of? Send them back an email and says, and Alan's, since Alan's been on, our numbers have gone up by 30%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should all show up on the show with buzz callers. And then you... Bzzzt. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> right. Right. Where are you at in California? I'm close. You're funny. Yeah. Gualala. Gualala. Do you know where Gualala is? It's in the middle of nowhere. Mendocino County. It's right yeah, next Mendocino to Ulala. La. We talked about that. <laughs> no, it's it's Gualala. It's a very nice little little. It, well, you it, you know, I mean. Tell us about it, you, Alex. Uh, how well, many I'm, I mean, there? if you sneeze while you're going through it, you're going to miss uh, it. But right. you know, All right. what's the old line? It's not the middle of nowhere, but it's you can see the middle of nowhere from there. Yeah. So you know, actually, like it's grown exponentially. What so do you mean? It's funny. Well, wait a minute. When you say grown exponentially, there used to be five people that lived there. There are 10 yes. now? Yeah, pretty much. No, it was funny because I remember asking my mom, how come the sign always says uh, 853? And my mom goes, ugh, it's been like that since we've been coming up here. And now it says like 2093. Oh, but right. I don't know where they <laughs> are. Well, they're all around, you know. But don't they have to live within the city limits of Gualala in order to... I don't even know where the city limits are. <laughs> I mean, are you in the city limits of Gualala, or you, that's the closest city you are to, so you say you live in oh, Gualala? Oh, no, we're in the... I guess we're in the city limits. I mean, we're not... You know, the grocery store is like a, uh, you know, three-minute drive. Mm -hmm. The two grocery stores in town. Yeah. You? Wow. Yeah. And then how big a grocery store is it? Huge. Not huge, that's for sure. But because not it, small. Because you and it's I. It's medium. Yeah, because you They're and I. It's medium. You and I never. I never went to the. Uh, Are you anywhere near Laytonville? Oh, you know what? Um, 
What's funny is when my dad was in Everybody the get your he, maps out. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, jeez. Laytonville is uh, about an hour and a half north from us. Oh, really? Oh, so you're yeah. down by Ukiah. Up. Yeah. Yeah. We're an hour and a half from Fort Bragg also. Oh, okay. It's a, so it's a wonder. It's a, it, Are you it, inland or along the ocean? And it's a beautiful. I am right on my whole, if I opened this up and it was daytime and I moved, it's nothing but ocean. Oh, wow. Very nice. Very oh, nice. yeah. It's great. My son and I can walk across the street and you go to this little street called Cook Street. And then there's this little beach called Cook's Cove. Mm. There's a lighthouse right up the road. It's really oh, nice. Sure. And her father built a beautiful house there. Just built a beautiful house. Mm. Oh. Built it to the way what he wanted it to be and yeah. didn't care about resale value. Didn't no. care that Alan was going to comment on it later. Nope. <laughs> he, 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 thinking ahead, he built it. It's three stories. He built an elevator in it. It's, when you walk in, you're on the main level, and then there's upstairs, and then there's a basement. And I think the basement probably takes up two thirds of. Um, it's two. Th it's a third less big than the main floor. Mm -hmm. And there's staircase and elevator. Mm -hmm. Are you at the at the building right now? Me? Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, he put in so the you elevators. Give us a tour. He put he put us he, he put no he he put in the elevators, uh, because he said that when he and his wife, your mother, is gone now, but when they were got older and they couldn't walk up those stairs, they would have the elevator. Does he use the elevator yet? Hell no, he's eighty four and he's. Man, my dad's funny. Yeah. No, not yet, but you know, but his that, but, legs, he's having some issues with his legs. Yeah. Um, so it's like, you know, just make sure you use the handrail and take your time, and he does. Yeah. No, he's still driving. But I mean, he could time. take the elevator. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, it's very cool. I mean, it's a great yeah. house. Your legs tend to go out when you're 82, I hear. Oh, I, oh Alex, I'm sorry. I'm 81. <laughs> oh, that's right. You know, sorry. you may be right, though. You know, I'm looking at these people in my neighborhood mm -hmm. who've got these little uh, scooters and stuff, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm starting to envy them, you know. <laughs> uh, the only thing is, the, the, I don't know how these things take them around because they're, like, really fat, you know. Mm -hmm. The scooter or the people? The, sc the people on the scooter. I mean, the scooter's going, <laughs> One at a time. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it was, it's really, it's cool. Uh, but anyway, oh, I just got a note from Bob Natale. He says, sorry, a phone call. Had to take it. Still on the call. Okay, good. I, I just want to make sure he was oh, okay. Wait. And huh? it's Alan. <laughs> yeah, right. And he said it's Alan. Yeah. yeah. I, yep. <laughs> <laughs> It was a call from John Cummings asking me to. <laughs> I like when he starts everything. You know, I wish you wouldn't tell everybody. I didn't want you to read it on the air. Well, you know, he never says that. He never says that. He probably sitting there jerking off while he's listening to me read it. You know. <laughs> Yeah. The so, trouble is, is he has time to write when he drops the tweezers in the middle of masturbation. <laughs> and the pepper. The pepper, yeah. Anyway, so uh, uh, otherwise, uh, let's see here. What else has been going on? Uh, the funeral today for the kid in, uh, from uh, Brooklyn Center. Um, yeah. And wow. um, I looked up, by the way, you know, there's this guy. What's his name? I'm trying to remember his name. Crump. Um, oh yeah, Ben Crump. Ben Crump, Ooh. and and he's the lawyer for for everybody. Well, he's he's kind of what yeah. I call the uh, Al Sharpton Jr. No, 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 no. There is no Al Sharp. Al, there's only one Al Sharpton. Okay, <laughs> uh, but I think of him kind he's of as like a, the new Johnny Cochran. Uh, as a no, I think of him more as well. You could argue that Johnny Cochran fell into this category too of ambulance chaser, uh, but I I was very questioning of you know he's the guy's a lawyer, right? They don't 
what they do you know a lawyer who does stuff because they want to help the human race <laughs> no <laughs> yeah. uh, there are some there are some uh people who work oh. for the ACLU and so on but uh I looked up Trump and he gets one third of every settlement yeah. you know the two settlements he got recently twelve thousand yeah. dollars for the twelve million dollars for the family Brianna Taylor and twenty seven million for the George Floyd family what is a third of that a lot of money a lot of money now yeah. he has a he has a big firm that you know that goes after these cases mm -hmm. which is you know he's got to pay those people but still how much money is he walking away with when in all of this i want you know i he refuses to say how much he makes which makes me suspicious oh. because if i were him and i were doing these kind of cases i mean i looked up uh, sharpton sharpton you know how much sharpton makes a year off the national action network Cat. about a half no. a million total not much uh -huh. Which is not much for all the work he does, okay? No. And the expenses he probably incurs for going to these places. Right. So I have no complaint with with Al Sharpton. But when he goes out to lunch with Crump, I would imagine it's Crump who has to pick up the bill. You know? Well, at least, at least Crump is not Trump lawyer. He wants to get paid. Well, he wants to get paid, but, I mean, it's just that when, you know, he's out there... Uh, uh, doing the cause, talking about the cause, hawking the cause. Um, he doesn't, you know, nobody ever stops to think about, hey, how much money are you making out of this? You know? And I don't expect him to work for nothing, by the way. That, that's ridiculous for me to even ask. But if, it, if he is getting uh, out of, uh, oh, all the recent awards, somewhere in excess of $10 million, you got you to gotta ask some questions. So is yeah. the, the show Sunrise Semester a good show? I've never heard of it. What do you mean? Uh, somebody in the side text, uh, Tyson's Acosta, who's always here. Yeah. Man, yeah. this is about as exciting as watching episode of Sunrise Semester. I've never heard of Sunrise Semester. Well, wow. oh, that was years ago when I was a kid. I remember that. Like yeah. Sunday morning or something. Or Early in the morning. Yeah, well, <laughs> they would have something it, like it, that. If if you if you really don't think it's a, it, it, this yeah, is about as exciting as watching an episode else. of Sunrise Semester, Go well, Tyson, you know, you never call the show and make it exciting. Do I need to take off my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, that's that's uh, that's always welcomed, but. Uh, <laughs> I was, I'm so protective of her, by the way, that we were in Ibiza, <laughs> Spain, right? And we're walking back to the hotel, and she turns around while I'm videotaping and ra lifts her shirt, right? And, and also at the beach, uh, she was topless, right? And I was shooting that. Yeah. Those videos have never been seen. I was so Aww. protective of her. You're I went, so, you're when such I did a gentleman. When I did show you going bloom like that, I blurted it out. I don't know, maybe yeah, because be I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. I put oh. actually, I put two like sunbeams on there, <laughs> yeah. and I might add they were very large sunbeams. Okay, so thank you. <laughs> High beams. <laughs> That's yeah. That's funny. Mm -hmm. So you guys have a history. Oh yeah. And yeah. how? And how? Yeah. Yeah. We, we had a. Oh, you didn't know about that, Alan? No, I didn't. Mm. This is only, I think, the second or third time that she's been on when I've been on. Oh, know? yeah. Yeah. Well, so we, 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 we have our... We've He's schmoody and I'm schmoody. Yeah. We're, we yeah. call each other schmoody. It's, it's really mm -hmm. disgusting. It was way <laughs> disgusting. Well, well, we, no, we did it because we wanted to make people want to vomit. We yeah. Had, yeah. Everybody <laughs> kept asking, so what's, what is up with you two? And we would never really say anything so they were like hmm yeah they just knew don't fuck with alex or that big blonde broad's gonna kick your ass <laughs> yes Absolutely. she was my bodyguard <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean how tall are you now i i forget now about six six foot six foot yeah 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 pretty tall for a babe yeah you know? 
29 years old and six foot tall. That's well, he, what I liked about her, what, what made her very <clears throat> special was that if I had a huge, like, 30-inch TV set that I had to move from one side of the room to the other, she could just pick it up oh, and put this. it over there. <laughs> yeah, I got this, boom, and she'd move it over. It was very, very good. Uh, um, so uh, how's everything in your part of town, Kevin? Everything cool there? Yeah, pretty much. It's just, uh, you mean COVID-wise, you mean? Or yeah, what? COVID-wise, every other way. Anybody getting killed by cops or anything like that? Nah. Not in Hollister. Nah. We just, you know, butcher cows. And well, stuff. I would just, don't you feel you want to say to the cops, uh, stop killing people? You know, it's, 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 it's a time to kind of lighten up on that. Sure. It really is have pretty a, uh, crazy. Yeah. I how mean, about the 13th of July each year, the cops don't kill anybody. Oh, really? Okay. I, 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 why don't we come up with a day, a holiday, that the cops don't kill well, anybody? Well, I mean, it's just going to be ridiculous. I mean, what? There's, yeah. there's Now there was a girl that got killed, but she was stabbing a friend, right? Oh, my yeah. God. But, when they yeah. showed the she video, was her alarm is back the cops here. Oh, yeah. She was being attacked. Huh? What did you well, say? What she did was you... defending herself with the knife, and oh. the cops shot her. Oh, okay. All right. I, yeah, that's not how the neighbor put it, Charlie. I wasn't there yeah. I wasn't much about it, but yeah. the neighbor said that if the cop hadn't shot her, you know, it was on the news tonight. If the cop hadn't shot her, the cop would have been in danger. But let me ask you this. You were a policeman. I've said this over and over again. Every time I hear about these things, I ask the question, everybody? do you have to shoot in body mass? Can't you shoot in the leg or in the arm or, you know, somewhere where it is not as lethal? Don't shoot to kill. Yeah, don't shoot to kill. So, so, so go get somebody. Th think of a person up against the wall, and you've got a dart in your hand, like you play darts with. Mm -hmm. And you could you could throw the dart in the center mass in their body, or you can try and hit their hand. What do you think is going to be easier? And that's why. Oh, well, I think if you're shooting with a gun and you shoot the lower part of the body, you can probably hit a leg easily. Maybe. Yeah. You know. I mean, don't hit the penis or the vagina, but, you know. <laughs> I understand. It's just I think there's a high probability if I call the cops, I'm the one that's going to get shot. So yeah. I'm not calling the cops. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And Charlie's got a very good point there because he, you know. Uh, and Charlie and, needs a T-shirt that says, I'm a white man with a dark suntan. Don't shoot me. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's, it's, not, it's not good. You know, it's not funny, you know. It, you know? It, it I mean, but it's just happening too much, and I, I think part of it is is that everybody's looking for it now too. I think you that's know, it. I think the know. internet spreads it around too. Ten years. Well, ago. Well, I mean, we have a different form of of, uh, of of getting the news. We get it by uh, this mass infusion of information into one siphon. And uh, you know, I mean, and everybody's walking around with a with a with a video camera in their pocket, you know. Yeah. So these things get get seen and recorded and so on. And you know, it's a whole different world that way. Uh, but you know, when that seven year old got shot with that hit, where they were in the line at McDonald's and those two guys came out and shot up the car thirty times, where was the outrage? Well, you know, I mean. Uh, the funny part is we don't these mass shootings of which I believe what did I read a hundred and thirty seven in since the beginning since already this year mass shootings and mass shootings count as four or more. And you know I I guess what I don't get is when some drug dealer drives down the street and opens fire out of his car misses the intended target and kills the guy's wife and four-year-old son why don't why doesn't the community protest for that we do you know? the, the people don't report it that's all the mainstream oh. news that's not news uh, yeah. no i and listen i agree with you that certainly those things should get reported as as vociferously as the uh, as as the police doing actions okay we should just know that we've got a problem with guns out there. Sure. You know. And gangs. 
and everything else. I mean, I worked at UPS for 27 years and 24 was in Oakland, three was in Richmond. Five of my employees were murdered in the violence in Oakland. One was actually a former cop who was killed by a cop. He was high on PCP. One of my part-time soups married one of my hourlies. He murdered her three-year-old daughter, and I have one of my part-time soups in prison for first-degree murder. He's in San Quentin. Wow. Wow. Well, I mean, but, you know, the question is, you're talking about Oakland. How much of this has to do with poverty? You know, oh, I mean, sure. we, Quite a bit. I, I don't think we blame enough of it on poverty. I, I, I mean, agree. Absolutely. I agree, I agree Alex. You know, and then, working at UPS, I would get these kids that were 19, 20, and the best thing they had going for them mm -hmm. was UPS. So mm -hmm. when all of a sudden their attendance starts going south, the shop steward and I would go talk to them. We'd have to discipline them. And then I'd say, before you punch out, come see me. Then when they'd see me, I'd pull them to the side and I'd go, motherfucker, what the hell's going on? Because then what happens is myself, and the union, we tried to get them the resources to keep them at UPS. Mm -hmm. Because it, you know, the and man, some of the stories these kids would tell me, mom's dead or dad's in prison or vice versa, or they're in the foster mm -hmm. care system. Their siblings are spread everywhere and they haven't seen their siblings in years. I mean, oh yeah, poverty plays a huge role. You Redlining. Districts? Were you over there off of sixty uh, sixth? Hagenberger. Yeah, yeah. Same yeah. difference. Same yep. Difference. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know, I, I don't. I think Will Durst used to be on the radio and say, "Do you know what the most dangerous time of the day for kids is? Three p.m. when school mm -hmm. gets out." Yeah. And it it they they no longer have any structure from school, no parents because they're working or not available or. Yeah. not present in their life and they find things to do and unfortunately a lot of times those things are not good yeah well i'll tell you thank god for the boys and girls club like out in san joaquin county so Absolutely. when i was working at, when i was Everywhere. working at ups i contributed to the united way and i had it specifically go to united way of san joaquin county in the school i was working at via lobos which is the school my son went to had Boys and Girls Club, and it is wonderful. And it's open till seven o'clock, so right after school, these kids go. They had a great crew of people. They do activities. They would help these kids with homework. So by the time their parents came to pick them up, the kids could go home and enjoy their time with their parents and not have to worry about homework or any of that. So those types of things work. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but uh, I'm just saying that I think that that we we put too, too little emphasis on the fact of of poverty. It yeah. isn't even as much race as it is poverty, and the fact the yes. only place that race plays into that is that who are the su subjects, the greatest subjects of poverty, and those okay. are racial groups because they've been put mm -hmm. in that position. But it's poverty that's the problem, and that's what we have to attack in this country. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jack Bishop has joined us. Hey, just dropped in here for a minute. Wonderful conversation tonight. Just unbelievable. Uh, we don't pay enough attention to the question of economic disparity and yeah. class. Well, that's Absolutely. what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, I said this the other night. The difference between black folks shooting somebody and young white males. Young white males go crazy. You know, they've had a bad hair day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Black folks and Hispanic folks usually, first of all, we usually shoot each other. Yeah. Because somebody yeah. has pissed you off. You've been at the bar and he said the wrong thing to your woman and yeah. you're pissed off. Yeah. Or conversely, you're screwing up his profitable criminal activity, just yeah. like it happened with the Italian mob, the Jewish yeah. mob, the Irish mob. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But it, but it has to do, I, I think we have to attack uh, uh, the, the classism that exists in this country, you know, and, and, and try and do away with that. I mean, I was hoping that Jack got on the show to say that he's now on Zoom so I can come visit him. Not yet, but I got a 16 year old coming over this weekend who said, gee, Jack, even as 
technically stupid as you are, I think I can teach you this. Yeah, the only problem <laughs> Look, is if I can learn it, you can. Learn the only it. problem yeah. is you're gonna have to get your own Zoom account, and then how we get I that? I can do that. Yeah, but then you got to pay for it because otherwise you can't do more than forty minutes. You you mean to say that Gabnet is not gonna pick up a tab for me having? Hey, that's it. I'm through with this bullshit. <laughs> he's not, he's, he said last night he's not gonna pay us. We're, no, we're I the, said I was going to pay you. Then I. Oh, I, you are I, now. Yeah, okay. I, so far this yeah. year, in a I, year. Another example we're, we're, of in a, a black in man a, being exploited. In a year, oh. from all those commercials <laughs> that they run at the beginning of my show. Three hundred years, you took my labor. Now you won't pay for my Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I know, you won't pay for my Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, Hockey, next time, slave, master, devil, next dog, time you have a <laughs> next time you have a trance, Jack, I need some cotton balls. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. Between your legs? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I was going to say to Bennett, <laughs> I never picked cotton when it, when it was my turn. We were picking Dacron polyester. No, okay, good, good. Thank yes, uh, Charlene. <laughs> hey, Charlene. see you at the top of the hour for the intersection. Oh, okay, bye bye. That's uh, bye. that's then now. We'll, let's see if he knows how to turn the thing off. That'll be. Oh well, I'm going to turn the thing off. I want you to come join me when I get started to talk about the pop-ups. You I haven't promise, done that. I promise. The what? The what? Own. About the what? Pop-ups. Your, the pop-ups. What pop-ups? Your show that you do during oh, the day. Oh, oh the pop up, yeah. Oh, the yeah. pop up yeah. show. The daytime show, yeah. I'll yeah. come see you at midnight when you get on Zoom, Jack. All right. Bye bye, Jack. That... Bye. All right. We never get to see his whole face because there's a lot of metal in front of him. <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, yes, Charlene. Did you see this? Um, it was in New York. Uh, I think it was 20, I don't know what year. Set. There was a, a bomber, a terrorist bomber in the subway. I happened to watch the news today, Eyewitness News, you know, mm -hmm. at noon. Mm -hmm. And he, he's an old bomber, and they sentenced him now to like 40 years. And they showed the footage. He went down with a pipe bomb into the subway, and it exploded on him, too. And he didn't murder anybody, but he maimed about three people. Mm -hmm. he, 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 uh, he says he's sorry about it now. And he said that if he would have had a friend... In this country, that was what was wrong with him. That he had no friends at all. Mm -hmm. He says that if he would have had a friend in this country, it wouldn't have happened. Did you see that? No, oh, no. He's sorry. He I got thought that was caught. incredible. Yeah. By the sorry. way, yeah. By the way, we he's haven't heard tonight. He I just want to. I want to hear a little bit from some people we haven't heard from. John, you haven't said anything tonight. Oh, I'm just, uh, you know, just relaxing, listening to the convo, you know, yeah. conversation. What, are you stoned or something? Well, no, drinking a little rye. Uh, okay, yeah. right. okay, good. And His lights aren't going on. And uh, <laughs> Josh is a little quiet tonight, but you know, some nights he's quiet and some nights he's verbose. Um, and Steve, how, where are you tonight? Same place as the same I place. In the morning. Beautiful, so, Burnley. Same place as last night. Was it was that in Nevada? Yeah, yeah, yeah certainly in Nevada. You want, why why are you there for two days? Uh, my thirty six hour DOT break. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. Set my hours. See, I don't know about these things. You you nodded your head. Yes, Brian. I guess you know Heaven about knows. this sort of stuff, right? You can explain right? it. Hmm? Uh, I, he knows. I about he, had that, he had that last time. I remember you were stuck somewhere for thirty six hours. Oh, yeah. 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 Been you, were in, uh, you say you were going other days. Do most people who have trucks pull into a truck stop somewhere and just kind of live there for the 36 hours? Or do you go out and uh, yeah, go... You can get to the truck stop. Sometimes you, end up on the side of the road. <laughs> well, I mean, do you go, do you go yeah. to like some restaurants or movie theaters? About the hookers. Huh? About the hookers. How about the... How about the, how about the, how about the uh, what, what do they call them? The lot lizards? Yeah, lot lizard. <laughs> lot lizard, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what do you, sure. you know? You know. Do you know what I'm talking about, right, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> his lips are sealed, and his uh, nose. There must be money in it because obviously they keep roaming these lots. So you know, slithering around. Yeah, slithering around. Actually, yep. you know why you. Don't 
don't yeah. see that much anymore. You don't see him that much anymore? Is that because of COVID? Uh, oh, probably. Yeah, probably. Oh, not even before oh, that. Before that, that it's... They have people running through them nowadays, don't, don't they, uh, Steve? They yeah. keep them pretty huh? cleaned up now. By the way... Yeah, uh, the truck stops are fairly clean nowadays. So I'm trying to work everybody into the show. Josh, have you seen mm -hmm. any of Jim Jordan's current activities on the air? Uh, no, no, I have not. He, tries, have, uh, he tries to see how obnoxious he can be. Yes, go ahead. No, not for not for a few days anyway. And, and we have uh, we have a big we have a plant out there in Fernley, Nevada, where he's at. I know that. But uh, oh, really? No, I haven't seen him on uh, TV in a few days around here. I'm he is there. so rude to anybody. You know, he thinks that by acting oh, yeah. the way he acts, that you know, this makes him a hero of the beach, and it doesn't. It makes him the biggest asshole in America. I mean, I yeah, we talked about that what the other night yeah. or whatever. I think all of us yeah. did or something. It was just I don't even know that he cares. It's just he yeah. has to message it in a way. He just he's just all anger, angry, angry. It's just I, I just get tired of it. Yeah. I think some of these I people mean, even talk. If, even like if he agreed or I agreed with him at some point. It, I mean, like if Chuck Schumer started yelling all the time. I mean, like shut up. I mean, I mean just right. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Ah, you know exactly. Exactly. Yes, John. Uh, did, did anybody see uh, that lawyer? I mean, that senator uh, from Louisiana uh, interviewing uh, Stacy oh, uh, Stacy Abrams, yeah. and he he thinks he's now. Just tell me, do you think this is a racist? Uh, <laughs> he reminds me of Matlock. You know, he's like, oh, I'm just a country lawyer. You know. I'll tell you, yeah. I got to tell you, Stacey Abrams, Abrams is maybe the most, one of the most righteous people in America. She's smart. I mean, smart. she you gets, she gets the what? You don't fuck with her. You got, if, if you're going to, uh, yeah. like him, you know, if he thought, if he, you know, he thought he was going to, uh, you know, tear her down, but she came, she comes loaded, man. You don't, you don't fuck with her. Uh, no, you don't. And she's really righteous. Which is he terrific. thought he was going to banjo her, but boy, was he wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Well, it's quite a nice group tonight. This is, uh, <laughs> it's been fun. Uh, Scott, any last words just to get you into the mix? Actually, you talked about truck stops. My very first syphilis case I ever interviewed was a guy <laughs> that cleaned showers at a truck stop. Oh. How many cases of syphilis have you had? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I've interviewed probably thousand cases a thousand yeah. people with syphilis great job great job yeah. i mean kevin said they cleaned it up while the guy that cleaned it up is the <laughs> yeah yeah hey listen good good to have all of you here uh brian great to have you here as always uh alan you know just to tone it down <laughs> uh, i'll think of volume tomorrow be, because you know we want robert back uh, 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 Trigger Steve, thank you. Thank you, Charlie Wallace. Thank you to uh, Scott, uh, the other Scott. Uh, how about uh, Kevin and uh, uh, Jeff and Josh and uh, Charlene and John Larkin and, of course, the ever popular schmoody <laughs> Kathleen? Call more often, Kathleen. You just I will. Fun to I will. I promise. You've yeah, got nothing to do up this. there this time of day anyway right you know i will see you tomorrow okay good everybody why don't you give a big wave goodbye and i'll give a big wave goodbye at you okay there they go ladies and gentlemen that's our citizen panel for tonight we'll be forming another one like you know crust on the top of pudding uh tomorrow well i don't know what that means uh tomorrow night at uh, uh 10 30. uh next uh, Jack Bishop, you saw him. He's next here with the uh, in, uh, with the intersection, and then uh, I'll be back in tomorrow night, 10:30 Eastern Daylight Time. Mm -hmm. And um, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, please still wear a mask, be safe out there, and get vaccinated. Night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>